Welcome back to vlogtog.2 today. Today we will be making some coffee. Let's get started. I will be using the process that my family has used for many generations to make coffee in a very tasty way. So this is not just your normal coffee, this is good and it's very special coffee that is traditional in my family. And I will be using my camera that I got for Christmas to show a closer up view of how to make it so that you will know how to make it better. Uh, okay, let's go. So uh, the first thing you need to have is you need to have a glove so that you do not get uh, the coffee beans dirty and you also need to have a cup of water like that. Uh, I would suggest that you make it a metal cup and not a plastic cup and I'll tell you why later. Um, and then you need some coffee beans and a paper towel and you need a knife just like this to cut the coffee beans. All right. Um, let's get started. So uh, how you'll want to be cutting these beans is you'll want to, do you see how each coffee bean has a little line on it? You want to take the knife and just cut it in half like that and I'll show you again. Sometimes they shatter and they go really far away but that's okay because uh, that means it just wasn't a good bean um, and Sometimes it won't let you cut it, but that's okay if you just have some uh, the beads that are whole still. They don't all have to be cut in half. It just helps with the flavor and uh, it helps them be good. Okay, um, like that. All right. Now that all of the beads are cut, uh, you will take this paper towel and you will do it like this and you just have to uh, put it in your water and uh, you just uh, and like that and then you take your water and See how the beans are floating? That means that it is going to be extra tasty. And now to heat it up. If you just want some cold brew coffee, you can do it like that. Or if you want it to be good in hot coffee, you have to um, open up the oven and you uh, take your coffee and put it in there. And um, then you put it in the oven and um, you set the temperature to be 400 degrees and you leave it in there for three minutes. So um, I will get back to you whenever it is done. So uh, the timer just went off, so that means that it is time to grab our coffee. So what you first have to do is open the oven. And uh, you have to grab your cup but be careful because it's really hot so you just have to grab it from the edge so you don't burn yourself oh that was really hot so that is how you make really good traditional coffee um, and here's the coffee so I will try it now to do a good taste test and uh, we'll show you that it is good That was pretty good. Uh, it tastes really good and rich, and it doesn't need any sugar or any milk in it. It just tastes like really good coffee, and so I would recommend this recipe to you um, if you want to make some coffee. Um, that's all I have time for today, so uh, TTYL, talk to you later, see you later, goodbye, uh, subscribe to me, uh, watch my other videos. Um, Put your coffee recipes in the comments down there, down in the comments down below, and uh, goodbye.